Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at shared data sources and shared data sets. For this tutorial I'm using Visual Studio 2012. So on screen is a report that I've created um, over a series of videos. This report uh, on the left hand side you've got the report data pane and there is a data source and a data well multiple data sets. This data source and these data sets belong to this report. They are only accessible at the minute in this report. So if you're going to be creating multiple reports, if you create multiple reports across different data sources, if you're reusing different sets of data, maybe there's a team of you working or you are um, storing this in source control for other people to access, it might be sensible to share data sources and data sets so that if you have all of your databases on a particular server and if you need to change that server for whatever reason you change it in your shared data source and that should um, all the other uh, reports should pick that up equally if you have your data set if you've got a data set that does a particular purpose if you then amend that data set anything that uses that shared data set will be amended also so let me show you an example of that so if i go to my report here if I go to add a new report, um, we'll choose report and I'm just going to call it a second report. I've got then, as you've seen before, uh, the standard report layout. If I got my data source, choose that data source, call it whatever I want to call it. And I've now got to set it up. OK, so I go to edit. Um, I've got a drop down here, but I don't know my server name, so I'm going to go open SQL or open a document or find where I've got that um, information stored. Eventually, I find it. I know which database I want to go to. Okay. Then I know that I want to get a particular set of data, and I know I've done it before in a previous uh, report, so I'll disappear and I'll go to my other report and I'll find out the SQL. Then I'll come back and I'll work out what I'm doing. Um, and I'll find my SQL, I'll pop it in, um, and I can start now with my report. I, fine, it didn't take long to do that, but uh, it could have taken a lot longer. I was just doing it for speed. Ideally, what you want is, if you're going to reuse the same sources and, and data sets, and you should store them centrally in the shared location. So I'm going to create a shared data source. And I'm going to call it DS training like um, I did in the previous um, report. SQL Server report. If I go to here and I put in my server, then there's my training. And then maybe I'll say, let's create another one that says, DS DB training. So now I've got two data sources pointing to two different databases DS training and DS DB training. Um, then maybe I'll create some shared data sets. So I'm going to create a new data set. I'm going to call this. DS departments. Uh, which data source do I want to use? I want to use my training data source. So this is going to the shared data sources. And for now, I'm just going to put some SQL in. Now, when I come to create a new report, third report um, and I want to create the data source I can now say um, use a shared data source and I want to use the training one and then 
I want to use a shared data set and there's a list of my data sets there's only one at the minute select that click OK and there's my data set nice and easy so um, if you find yourself reusing data sources and reusing data sets then create them in here and then if at any point you need to amend that you can come into here you can amend the SQL um, And when you've done that, any new reports that you're writing that you're using that data set will have that updated information. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Any comments, any feedback would be appreciated. Thanks for watching.